This is going to be good. The following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena! Listen to this place! Since 2003, I don't know if any other superstar has defined WWE in the same way as John Cena. Yeah, a man who's been defined by his passion, a man who's been defined by his work ethic, and a man who has been defined by Hall of Fame success here in WWE. The greatest of all time, John Cena, set for action here tonight. Byron, you should strive to be more like John Cena. I do. The legend continues. The mythical, immortal, The Phenom! And from Death Valley, weighing in at 299 pounds, The Undertaker! To this day, the dead man still looms over the WWE landscape like a menacing shadow. The indestructible spirit, the unmatched aura, the phenom. Bone chilling. Think about Undertaker, he just continues to get better with age. It defies logic, it defies the mind. The dead man continues to rise and redefine himself and what it means to be a WWE superstar. Who will lay claim to becoming the next victim? You can feel the electricity wow. running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. And guys, you can almost Ouch. literally feel the electricity in the air for this Hell in a Cell match. Every WWE competitor is spectacular to watch, but when The Undertaker competes, it's an event. Oh, oh he's got man. the most awe-inspiring entrance in WWE history and has the in-ring dominance to back it up. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Oh, I think this man means business. Here's a cover. 
Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Gonna take more than that. Straight punch! Undertaker looking mortal here. I don't think he expected to be in this position here. Using all his power to drive him to the mat. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. His clothesline finds the mark. The tombstone drives Undertaker's opponent straight into the canvas. This devastating version of the pile driver has led the Phenom to countless victories and multiple championship reigns. He's focusing on the face now. And look at the quickness by Cena. Corey, for more than 26 years, the Tombstone has been the ultimate finishing maneuver. For the dead man, the move has signified the end of rivalries and in some cases, the end of careers, like we saw at WrestleMania 26, when Undertaker defeated the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. The Tombstone from the Undertaker exhibits the Phenom's enormous physical strength and it means that his opponent is going down all the way down for the count. He'll be feeling the effects of that for a while. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. And he lands a hellacious uppercut. The damage has been done. Executed perfectly. Being a sports entertainer for over 25 years will take a toll on anybody's body, yet The Undertaker continues to defy logic. Yeah, and he continues to silence any doubters. So many have asked, has The Undertaker lost a step? And that, guys, may be the most dangerous question to ask. You would be making a grave mistake to come at the dead man with misplaced confidence. Byron brings up the question of Undertaker losing a step, and it seems as if the notion is constantly tested. 
Challengers continue to lure the dead man out. No one allows him to rest in peace. Everyone wants to see if the demon from Death Valley still has it. I got an idea. How about you ask John Cena if Undertaker still has it? Ask Rusev how he celebrated Rusev Day in a casket. Age is a meaningless number to the Phenom. John Cena got him there. He's inflicting some serious pain here. John Cena is starting to take some deep breaths in there. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. This is nothing, Cole. As this match marches on, he's going to be put through a heck of a lot more than this. The good news for him is that his opponent's offense is likely packing a little less of a punch, considering all the damage he was able to inflict earlier in this match. The Undertaker is the most powerful being in the history of sports entertainment. The world stood in shock at WrestleMania 30 when the Phenom's undefeated streak at WrestleMania was broken by Brock Lesnar. But somehow, after that crushing defeat, The Undertaker returned to WWE stronger than ever. Wait for it! Attitude adjustment! Wow, we might just be... And he got a near fall out of it. There is no quit in this man tonight. I was calling the action at WrestleMania 30 and was just as stunned as everyone watching around the world when The Undertaker streak came to a chilling end. It's amazing how The Undertaker's spirit became even more powerful following the loss to Brock Lesnar. I think those are two things we never thought we'd see. One was the streak being broken, and two, if it were to be broken, that somehow the Phenom would return more powerful than we've ever seen him. He's taken to the outside, and you can tell he has evil intentions in those eyes. Real quick, let's remind everybody that there are no rules inside of Hell in a Cell, meaning the referee's sole job in this match is to call for the bell following a three count or submission. Oh, what an uppercut! Just as important as Byron's point about there being no rules inside the cell, the same holds true for outside the structure. As we've seen many times in the past, superstars don't always stay within the cell. No, they don't, Cole. In fact, a lot of times you'll see them competing on top of the cell of all places.
think this man means business. Guys, we oftentimes talk about the dangers of competing inside Hell in a Cell. But let's not forget these competitors aren't the only ones in there. It could be just as dangerous for the official as well. Oh boy, he is rolling. Elbow right to the back of the neck. Oof. Now leaving the ring for the comfort of that chain link hell. Back in the ring again. And a savage clothesline. I agree with Michael's point on the dangers of this match. I mean, the environment is so brutal for all involved. Just go back to look at referee Tim White after he officiated one of those matches. Yeah, he was never the same after that. In fact, White said Hell in a Cell ruined his life. Looking to steal one. Got the shoulders down. And Cena pops the shoulder up. It's going to take more than that. Gentlemen, I think we can all agree that we've seen some pretty special moments over the years. But for me, few were more special than getting the opportunity to call the first ever women's Hell in a Cell match back in October of 2016. Big move coming. Wait for it. Big time slam right there. That has got to be it. John Cena with the early cover. Yes! Takes it! These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. From the opening bell, this match was won for the ages. I'm almost speechless. Almost. Here is your winner, John Cena! So for John Cena, he grabs the victory here tonight. Did you expect anything else? John Cena won tonight, showing the true power of hustle, loyalty, and respect. Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. And what an epic Hell in a Cell match we just witnessed.